Every time I post a new video, my DMs get flooded with queries regarding bits art. Now, the scene is that for bits art, everyone has had a different approach. For some people, it was their plan A. एकदम शुरू से फॉर अदर पीपल इट वॉज द प्लान बी दैट दे सिंपली रिलाइड ऑन विच इज़ वाई डिसाइडेड टू वॉक अराउंड द कैम्पस एंड टॉक टू अ बंच ऑफ बेचियंस आस्ट दैम फॉर टिप्स एंड ओपिनियंस एंड एडवाइस रिगार्डिंग बिट्स आर्ट दिस इज़ अ कॉम्पिलेशन ऑफ दोज थिंग्स वॉट आर द थिंग्स दैट यू विश दे हैड डन डिफरेंटली वॉट आर द थिंग्स दैट दिल डेफिनेटली रिकमेंड यू गाइज टू डू वॉट दे डिड वेन दे वर इन योर शूज I have time stamped all the questions so feel free to move around the video and get the and get the answers to the questions that you are looking for, for all the exams that a person could give in India for engineering why bitsat so bitsat is the only exam that you can give if you want to gain entrance into bits pilani and it's it's a very you know versatile quest exam you can say because it covers your je concepts add a little more in the form of english and logical reasoning but yeah i mean bits is a very prestigious college you know the most prestigious private college in india in fact and yeah it's a great opportunity that you get if you gain admission in bits pilani so yeah it is assuming that you're someone who has messed up the je attempts or has not prepared for je at all considering that phase 1 is 1 month away and phase 2 two, two months away what would you approach so uh, first thing i wouldn't lament on the time that's already lost and uh, i try to focus on the time that's left and try to make the best use out of it and 2 uh, months is not an inconsiderable amount of time so this would be my strategy for preparing for each subject for physics i take one good reference book for doing the theory and uh, solve the questions at the back for math i'd uh, solve all the pyqs and discuss with my professors and uh, my classmates their approach to solving the question for uh, inorganic chemistry uh, ncert is your best bet learn it thoroughly enough so that uh, it takes you no more than 5 seconds to uh, solve the objective questions and move on for organic chemistry well uh, you can always bank on your uh, professor for uh, quickly revising the concepts to you for physical chemistry well you have to pick up one good reference book solve all the questions in it and make a list of the formulas uh, that you encounter on the way uh and after you're done with all these things uh i'd suggest that you solve uh previous year question papers in a timely manner uh, by timing yourself as if it was a real uh, time scenario and uh, you after you attempt the paper you check which all questions you have unanswered or taken a lot of time on and uh, you attempt it again to make sure that you can do it uh in a practical fashion in the examination okay so j is 300 marks but and you get 3 hours for that whereas bitsat was like 450 plus like bonus questions in my time while the time is the same as j means the number of questions that you have to attempt is much more so you need to focus on speed stuff like that doesn't matter if your j means or advanced went well or not as long as you know you're able to keep the concepts in mind so again my advice is just study the concepts and crt is a good source and other than that try working on your speed speed is very important so. a lot of aspirants uh, worry about the level of questions what's your take on it and could you compare it with like the other exams the other popular exams yeah so with my personal experience i can say that uh, frankly speaking i never prepared for bits set as such but uh, i focused on j main and, and j advanced like all the topics are covered in that uh, in those exams for, uh, preparing for those exams like and the level of questions uh, it is obviously easier than much easier than j advanced and it can be compared with j mains the only difference comes uh, is the time constraint because in j uh, mains we have uh, much fewer questions so yeah practicing for j means is also as good for uh, preparing for um, bit set also compared to j means it's like easier obviously and uh, like uh, only they are they you should attempt them quickly like uh, if you are not able to do them quickly like uh, you should skip that question because if you can't do it quickly then 
that's the point of the exam there are many questions in less time a lot of aspirants worry about the variance of toughness of questions between the different slots what's your take on this in my opinion if the paper is difficult difficulty level is going to change uh, that is if it's going to get easier or tougher it's going to get equally tougher or easier for all the aspirants so rather than uh, focusing on how difficult the paper is just give your best shot and uh, regardless of how you perform you never know which might be your best attempt so give all attempts and uh, even if you do bad you'll get gain a lot of experience in the real time testing and what according to you are good sources to study from mm, i think if you have completed your uh, if you have studied all your material then it's pyq definitely pyq no other courses uh, no other questions are much more relevant than pyqs uh what you should do is uh, you should attempt uh, take one pyq attempt it throughout uh, like if it's a 3 hour exam just sit there for 3 hours and give it like an actual exam and after completing the exam uh, do all those question properly uh, if you find any new topics of questions just practice the those type of question till you get confidence in them and same with if you get something uh, you didn't know about just read that topic and uh, considering sources most of the sources are similar to what you have used for the preparation of j mains and advanced just for the english and logical reasoning part you could practice the previous year papers and a little bit of a material of ntic preparation if you have gone through that coming to sources i think um, my entire bitsat preparation was based on my je prep Uh, the same materials like ncert book your uh, if you if you go to a coaching your coaching material would help online uh, tests would help i think for bitsat exclusively there are mock tests available on various websites uh, please do appear for them those are really helpful in uh, testing your accuracy and speed because that is what bitsat is all about uh, yeah i would i would strongly advise mock tests and previous year questions at this point What, in your opinion, is the importance of syllabus completion, and how to ensure that you complete the syllabus before the exams? Uh, so, like in my opinion, sl- uh, syllabus completion is important. But uh, if you are not able to complete the syllabus, uh, uh, let's say before one week, then uh, you ha- you should leave the sl- uh, leave the uh, syllabus, and then focus on what whatever you have learned and practice that. and uh, you can score in that portion only like uh, completing the remaining part would obviously waste a lot of your time and you won't get to practice much enough okay so first of all uh, your main focus shouldn't be to complete the syllabus obviously you, you can't spend too much time on one subject or one topic but you don't have to just queue o- over them just to complete the syllabus uh, you have to study it uh, till the point that you'll get confident in solving any problems of that chapter read us your time management during the exam time management ka yaar ye scene hai ki lr hai aur english hai jo 30 na 30 question hai sabse pehle wahi attempt karna hai kyunki wo aise 10 15 minute mein nipad jayega kyunki english mein kya hi hai synonym hai pata hai nahi hai warna tukka maarna hai warna nahi maarna hai lr bhi is bahut simple aata hai to wo ho jayega उसके बाद मेरा वो रहेगा कि केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स मैथ्स क्योंकि केमिस्ट्री इनऑर्गेनिक और ऑर्गेनिक देख के करनी है ज़्यादा सॉल्व नहीं करना फिर फिजिक्स में थोड़े से टॉपिक देख के करनी क्योंकि मैथ्स थोड़ी बहुत लेंदी लगेगी तुम्हें वो इतने सारे क्वेश्चन देख के लगेगी वैसे होती नहीं है हो जाती है बट देख नंबर्स देख देख के थोड़ा सा दिक्कत आती है बट प्रेफर यही करो कि टाइम मैनेजमेंट ऐसी करने की पंद्रह मिनट में एल इंग्लिश ख़त्म करो आधे घंटे में केमिस्ट्री फिर मैथ्स के लिए थोड़ा ज़्यादा टाइम रख के पहले फिजिक्स निपटा दो सो आई एट सजेस्ट दैट you should first have a go through of all the questions that are there in the paper before attempting any of them and then uh, you solve the questions in rounds so uh, when you encounter a question you um, decide if you know this how to solve the question immediately or you'll have to think about it and if you can solve it immediately uh, in the first round you should go for it and uh, if you get hung up on any question well just move on because um, all questions are equally valuable and um, you never know the next question might be way easier and less time consuming and uh, you can always come back to the question in the second round for reviewing and uh, questions that are long uh, you should probably keep them for the third or fourth round of review because you know they're going to take your time so of the 130 questions 30 questions are of logical reasoning and english uh, what are your tips for that section like both before the exam and during 
सो इंग्लिश इज जस्ट लक इफ यू नो इट यू नो इट बट लॉजिकल रीजनिंग यू कैन प्रिपेयर अ फ्यू क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम मॉक टेस्ट एंड अ फ्यू बुक्स डेट आर अवेलेबल आउट देर एल आर तो यार बचपन से कर रहे हैं मतलब ऐसे इतनी बार तुमने एन टी एस भी दिया होगा वरना नहीं भी दिए तो एल आर की बहुत बुक्स आती हैं बहुत लाइट एल आर होता है कि पैटर्न रिकॉग्नीशन या फिर मेरा रिमेज बहुत लाइट एल आर होता है उसको कहीं से भी तुम एल आर की कोई भी क्वेश्चन निकालो प्रैक्टिस करें कहीं से भी कैसे भी चलेंगे वरना बिट साइड के पुराने पेपर हैं इतने पेपर हैं तुम देखने लगे बहुत पेपर मिल जाएंगे बस उनकी एल आर कर लो हो जाएगा बाकी इंग्लिश या बचपन से पढ़ रहे हैं सिनोनिम एंटोनिम आते हैं वो भी हो जाते हैं वरना एडजेक्टिव नाउन वो सब आता ही मतलब उसके लिए कुछ ऐसे स्पेशल प्रेप करने की जरूरत नहीं है होगा तो होगा नहीं होगा तो नहीं होगा बस जल्दी जल्दी करना है क्योंकि मेन हमारा जो पी हम पढ़ रहे हैं वो आने वाला है इंग्लिश बस जल्दी करना है कि दस में से पाँच भी सही होगा तो चलता है uh for bonus questions there are bonus questions at the end after you have attempted all the questions right so do you recommend going for those questions like thoda dukka maar ke yeah sure if you're left with like 10 15 minutes go for them it's a good boost but make sure you have time left for them if you if you don't have enough time just try to get your uh, get the rest of the questions right So, yeah. Also at this point of time, students are done with their mains. Abhi bitsaat and advance bacha hai. Uh, two bitsaat and one advance. So how do you suggest they manage their time between the two? Ah, dekho ek baar mains ki prep to ho gayi. Bitsaat ka kya hai? Mains jaise question honge, but easy, bahut easy calculation hogi. Mains mein sir, thodi se lengthy calculation kara dete, wo nahi hoga. So mains ek baar kar liya hai. Basics hai. Base bitsaat mein basics pe khelenge wo. Jitne basics pad sakte ho, pad lo. Tumhare advance ki prep ke liye bhi kama aenge. बाकी एडवांस के क्वेश्चन करो यार क्योंकि बिट्स इज नॉट द फर्स्ट प्रायोरिटी फॉर एनी वन एडवांस है फर्स्ट प्रायोरिटी पहले एडवांस करना है एडवांस के लिए बेसिक्स पढ़ोगे तो आई थिंक ऑल दो द पैटर्न ऑफ दिस बोथ एग्जाम्स आर डिफरेंट मोस्ट ऑफ द सिलेबस इज सेम सो आई थिंक मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम यू विल बी स्टडिंग द बेसिक ऑफ सब्जेक्ट्स दिस थ्री सब्जेक्ट पी सी सो आई थिंक द मेन डिफरेंस कम्स बिटवीन दैम इज विच मॉक टेस्ट यू आर गिविंग विच इज द मेन पार्ट ऑफ प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एन एग्जाम so like bit side bit side is coming first so you, you are studying the basics of all three subjects and then you are giving mock test of bit set but uh, as soon as the bit set is over you'll still be learning the basic of all three subject but then you'll shift uh, by giving mock test of uh, j advanced papers instead of bit set obviously why would you give bit set papers for it so this time around bit set is being conducted in two phases Uh, what would you recommend students do from phase one to phase two to ensure development? Uh, right. So in phase one, I would advise you to focus on your strengths because a lot of people would be doing an overall preparation, which might not help in an exam like BITSAT. Uh, work on your strengths. Uh, maximize your accuracy in those uh, subjects. Uh, moving on to the second one, I think um, you will be able to realize which sections you are good on, your strengths and weaknesses. Uh, learn from your mistakes. Uh, make a no- make a note of all the mistakes which you've committed, so that uh, that will help. You in your second. भाई दो बार हो रहा है तो पहली बार में अगर पहली बार प्रैक्टिस करो पूरी अपना बेस दो ऐसा मत समझो कि दो हैं तो दूसरे में ही करेंगे पहली बार दे दिया थोड़े से जो भी खामियां रह गई उसके लिए तुम्हें पे, पेपर का पैटर्न बच चल गया एग्जैक्ट पेपर का पैटर्न जो तुम्हारे टाइम आ रहा है तो उसी उससे प्रेप करो कि कैसी मैथ्स आ रही है कैसा फिजिक्स आ रहा है तुम्हें पता चल गया एक बार तो उसी उससे प्रेप करो और दूसरा वाला फोड़ दो रिफ्लेक्टिंग बैक ऑन द टाइम वेन यू गेव बेट सार्ट what exactly like what do you regret not doing or what are the things that you could have done better so should really should have studied back then <laughs> uh i mean for one again mock tests are very important so i should have given some more mock tests because the time crunch is always there yeah uh one should also remember that you should have tried and attempt all the questions possible so you can get those bonus questions these bonus questions are really easy I mean, they're just like the question that you already attempted. Sometimes they're just the same, and they really help boost your score. So I should have done that. I didn't obviously attempt the bonus questions, but looking back, I should have done that. Probably, you know, even if your main questions are wrong, the bonus questions will cover up for that. So that is one thing I should have done. Uh, another thing is I should have read NCERT. <laughs> that's another thing that I didn't do. I mean, yeah, that's it. 
सो आई थिंक आई डिन टाइम माई सेक्शन ड्यूरिंग माई प्रेपरेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू गुड एट फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री और मैथ्स टाइम योर सेक्शन अकॉर्डिंगली सो दैट यू विल बी एबल टू सेव टाइम ऑन द सेक्शन योर वीक इन सो आई डि नॉट डू दैट आई डि नॉट डिवोट टाइम टू अ पर्टिकुलर सब्जेक्ट विच इज वाई आई मेस्ट अप माई फिजिक्स सेक्शन बिकॉज आई डिवोटेड अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम टू इट द क्वेश्चन वर डिफिकल्ट इन केमिस्ट्री द क्वेश्चन वर ईजी बट आई हैड लेट लिटल टाइम लेफ्ट विच इज वाई आई कमिटेड अ लॉट ऑफ सिली मिस्टेक्स सो दैट वॉज इफ यू नोटिस वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमन गिवन पीसेस ऑफ एडवाइस इज की ब्रो मॉक टेस्ट दो बिफोर द एग्जाम यू मस्ट गिव mock tests for bits at theek hai but kaun sa for this let me suggest foru.club this is a test series created by students at bits goa the best part about this series is that it is created by bitsians for bits art these are the people who have cracked the exam who know the pattern of the exam who know the difficulty level of the exam and therefore is a reliable source at foru.club you will get access to 10 test series spaced out at intervals of time also you will be added to a whatsapp group with over 1000 aspirants and mentors Not only that, but also regular meets will be conducted in order to address your doubts and queries. This sounds like a good deal. For more information, head on to the first link in the description below. That is it for this video. In case you have any other doubts, feel free to write them in the comments below. I'll try my level best to answer them.